Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you what I got from the Sephora VIB haul. Here's my box here. Um, so yeah, I was I was wearing eyelashes but they were annoying me and my eyes itched so I took them off so if I look a little rough that is why. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with what I got from the sale. I am a VIB Rouge so I got the 20% off. Okay, first I got this perfume. This is Fresh Life by Fresh and I had like a little sample size of this and it just smelled so good and I just oh yes I just was, I really wanted to pick it up because I used up the small version of this and um, this is the 30 mil or the one fluid ounce this is $50 so it was good to get it on sale um, next thing is a product by Ciate and it is their um, limited edition Who Framed Roger Rabbit collab um, this is their highlighter in Roger Darling. It has Jessica Robin, Robin, Jessica Robin, Jessica Rabbit on the front. So it looks like that. And then if I can open it. Come on now. Come on. The struggle. I can open it. Okay, there we go. And inside it looks like this. It has... I don't want to block too much Jessica Rabbit embossed on it. Um, I hope that this. And I'll just go ahead and swatch it. I have not worn this yet, so. Ooh. Let me blend that out. So that is what it looks like. Mm hmm. Girl, mm hmm. So let's see. Oh, next up, I got this little NARS palette, and this is the NARS. Like, it says NARS like this, but the writing on the back is, like, upside down. So, it is their Quartz Voyager Eyeshadow Palette. Comes with six shades. This was, like, $30, I believe. And these are all shimmer shades, which look like this. And we all know, first one that I love my eyeshadow palettes, and that I love my shimmer. Um, so, yeah, I picked this up. Um... Oh, one of my 100 point perks was the little mini um, all nighter spray. I don't even have sitting spray on right now, so. Whew. And this is just one of the best setting sprays out there, so I thought this would be cute. Throw it in your purse for any touch ups or anything like that. Next up is this little Sephora eyeshadow palette. Uh, this time I went for like smaller eyeshadow palettes. I don't know what that's about, but. And this is the. I love palette and they have several different shades of this um, this is this one I have used this palette and I could tell you that I don't even know I think this is like $12 but it's absolutely worth it because these shadows are so nice these shimmers are just perfect so and it's a nice you know just neutral palette that you small you can grab do simple eye look so really love that this next purchase is I blame Kathy Lights because I normally would not even go for this because this is freaking expensive. But this is the Marc Jacobs Velvet Primer and this was like 20 something dollars. So I have yet to try it but it better be freaking amazing because this was expensive. Okay so we'll see how much to try that. Um, next up I got this it was a recommendation for Tar Babies. And it's one of the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foil Pigments. And I got the shade Golden Tangerine number three. And again, this is sparkly goodness, which I freaking love. Oh, God. Okay. I'm going to try to swatch. I mean, these are pretty much pressed. Ooh, these feel creamy. Ooh. So that is what that looks like there. My light is so freaking bright, but look at how wet and metallic. God. I know. I, I only got one. Like, I had to have, like, some type of self-discipline, but I kind of want some more because these look so nice and the consistency is so nice. And we all know how I feel. Like I said, I wish I could just live in glitter all day, every day, just bathe in it. So yeah, is that might be my favorite purchase. I don't know. Next up, I got one of the little Fenty Beauty um, mini sets. So I got the one 
with uh, the contour powder and the contour stick. Um, I like doing minis just because, um, one, rarely will I ever go through a whole freaking contour powder or whatever because I don't wear makeup every day. And two, it's just a good way to try out several products. So this is her new contour bronzer in Sun Stalker. I love these names. Should have used this today actually. It looks like that. The packaging is super cute as well. And then, ooh, this is going to be a good shade for me. That is what the contour color looks like. Again, that's the one. Oh, is it in Caramel Cutie? I think this is Caramel Cutie. This is Sunstalker Instant Wound. Maybe that's what the line is called. Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. And this is the shade Caramel Cutie. And then it also came with one of her matchsticks in the cinnamon with an S. And this is such a pretty color. Like, I don't know that I would use this as, like, on my face because this is it leans very like rose goldish. I don't know if I can really see that there, but oh, I need to put this on my eyes for sure. It kind of looks like this. Yeah, so that was that, and I think this was like twenty five bucks for these um, on plus twenty percent off. Oh, then I got this puppy, which is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist because everybody's just been talking about it and it is a super like fine mist but it also smells like watermelon mm, and I love the smell of watermelon so I've only used this once or twice and it's okay um I really just honestly like it for the smell so it smells good um what else oh I got one of the new Kat Von the Kat Von D new cake pencil intensive eyeliners and I got this in this shade black. I have not used this but I'm always on the search for a oh that's super black a black eyeliner that will last in my waterway so I'm ready to give this a go because I do like Kat Von D liners. Next up is another little set of perfume and this is the pop um, sent by Stella McCartney. Comes with a roller ball and a small little um, like travel size. Um, I ran out of this, um, ran out of my roller ball, so I just thought I'd pick up a new one. And since it came in a set for like 19 bucks, it was on sale. I thought, why not? Again, this is a good time to get fragrances and stuff on sale because they are more pricey. Next thing I got is this Kat Von D, her Locket Foundation. This is like a little size. This is still like 18 bucks. I don't know. I did not look. This is 15. This is half a mil. So 0.5. So I mean, I guess, I guess, but still, it's baby. I feel like, and I have the shade Midi M58 Warm. I don't know. If this is my actual shade. It looks a little bit light, um, but I wanted to try it without committing to like getting the full size of it. So I'm glad I got this. I have a little eyeliner on my freaking nail. I'm glad I got this little size just to try it out and see. Um, yeah, so I got that. Two things from the Sephora new launches. Um, I got their Rouge Cream. Oh, that's in another language. I got their Cream Lip Shine in the shade 01. Wow, I cannot see that. Can I try to open this? Oh, man. Come on. So yes, these are new from Sephora brand. Ooh, that's what the shade looks like right there. I was not expecting that. It's like a peachy color. It's very opaque, so I'm excited to try that. And then I got one of their newer lipsticks. Okay, hold on. Sephora Rouge Lacquer Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Squad Glows. Goals. Oh. I think that um, only the number is on the packaging, not the actual name. Um, but it does have the color on the top right there. So I don't know if you can see that. Ooh. Ooh, yep, that's my kind of color. That's what it looks like right there. And can you see that? Yeah. 
and this seems like a very creamy shiny formula which is why I got it and then last, last, last but not least I got this little itty bitty Sol de Janeiro sample with my order their body cream I have like a million of these not this particular side but like the little ones plus I have a travel one yeah so that's all I got I didn't go too crazy thank god I mean this might seem a little bit crazy to some people but you know I love my makeup so if you have any questions about anything that I purchased just let me know down below and I will see you next time bye